Hey, welcome to Yoga Nasanas. My name is Anna and I help people who work for long hours in front of a computer to relax their body and mind using yoga and mindfulness. Welcome to this meditation for when you break a commitment, part one out of three. Before we begin, if you're tired of the screen, you can get the audio file of this meditation for free. I leave a link in the comments or in the description of the video so you can get this meditation directly into your inbox. So let's begin. Make sure that you're in a comfortable and safe space where you know you can practice in stillness. You can do this meditation seated or laying down or even standing, that's okay with me. And you have the option to leave your eyes open or closed. And if you leave them open, just soften your gaze, look a little bit down beyond whatever is in front of you, looking without looking. And if you close your eyes, trust my voice, let me guide you through this meditation practice. And right away, let's begin by connecting with the body. And in order to do this, just bring your left hand over your belly and your right hand on top of your chest, your solar plexus area. And all you have to do is connect with the sensations. Feel the touch of your hands. Maybe their temperature. Maybe you can also feel your body as it moves with every inhale and every exhale. Just taking these first seconds to connect with our physical self, with our body. And very gently bringing your hands to either side of your trunk or on top of your knees depending on which position you chose and just feeling the sensations after we connected with the body sooner or later there comes a times when we all break a commitment you said you would quit eating sugar, but you had the urge and you bought a donut. You wanted to walk 30 minutes every day, you know it's good for you, yet today was one of those couch days. <laughs> this sometimes happens because we didn't organize our time correctly, because we didn't get the motivation because we're stuck, because we didn't prioritize things. Life happens, and when it happens, when we break our commitments, we tend to feel angry, frustrated, hopeless, depleted, and many, many, many other ways. The intention of this practice is to increase our awareness towards this experience so we can relate to it more mindfully and less reactively and with that we can make more intentional decisions. 
So I would like to invite you to find an example, to find a recent experience where you broke a commitment, whether it was a commitment towards yourself or towards others, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you find an example that you feel comfortable working with. Nothing too traumatic, nothing that still triggers any intense emotions that would defeat the purpose of this practice. So again, take some time to find an example of a commitment that you broke recently, either a habit that you are trying to build and you stopped or you were gonna meet with someone and you changed your mind last minute. Maybe you wanted to go to bed earlier or spend less time on social media. And once you find your example, let's gonna take a closer look to it. Let's explore this example. So what kind of commitment was it? Were you alone? Did it involve others? Why is this commitment important to you? Was it a daily, a weekly, a monthly type of commitment? And once we have explored this commitment a little bit more, I would like you to go back and travel to the moment where you knew that you were going to break this commitment, that this commitment was not going to happen. Can you recall the exact moment, the precise moment when you broke your commitment? Where were you? What were you doing? And finally, what thoughts did you have at that moment? Can you remember the thoughts that cross your mind? And some of the most common thoughts that we have when we break our commitments are I'm stupid. I should have done this. I should have organized better. I can't never find the time. I'm a mess. Do you recognize any of these thoughts? Were they also your own? And again, we're just bringing our attention to the thoughts. So take some time to see if on top of these thoughts you're finding yourself in self-criticism, judging yourself for having these thoughts. If that's the case, great that you notice. That's so important. The most important step in mindfulness is that you become aware of it. So good for you. And once you have noticed them, let them be. And go back, return to your center, return to the thoughts that you remember cross your mind when you broke your commitment. And I know I am aware that it's not that easy to just say, let go, let be your self-judgment. We, the human, human beings, we don't work like that. The mind likes to hold onto things, especially negative and self-deprecating emotions. If that's happening to you, I invite you to practice a little bit for a few couple of minutes self-compassion with me and when we practice self-compassion we're not 
agreeing nor disagreeing with the thoughts or what, with what happened. That's not what self-compassion does. What it does, it, it helps you relate to this experience differently, to bring a friendlier attitude towards it. So when you become aware, that's the first step, you gain your power back. They are not invisible to you. Now let's just shift a little bit the energy with some self-compassion. And instead of react to them negatively, feeling down, let's just bring this friendlier attitude. And in order to do this, I invite you to repeat the following phrases after me. I am human. I am a human being and sometimes I break my commitments. And this experience belongs to all human lives. Just simply contemplating the words, these self-compassion sentences and noticing whether they resonate or not with you right now. And for the last minute of this practice, let come back to the body. So bring your left hand over your belly, right hand on top of your chest, and connect. That's all you gotta do right now. Feel your hands, the touch of your hands, a friendly one, I hope in your body. Observe if your body is moving front to back, left to right with every inhale and every exhale. And when you're ready, release your hands, open your eyes if they were closed and take some time to thank yourself for practicing. I'm definitely grateful that you decided to practice with me today. And make sure you subscribe to my channel or connect with me to find out when the part two of this meditation comes out. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.